inspired by most of the training on Earth, but you can't uh, train for some of the things you do which are um, normal and subconscious, just like, you know, eating, sleeping, going to the bathroom, all those things are a little different up here, which you can't train for. And then on a technical side, uh, most everything we train for on the ground uh, is, is now skills-based, so we're prepared for any type of uh, malfunction might happen up here. Over. Well, um, uh, probably the we've had some problems with some of our electrical equipment outside and inside. Uh, it's a harsh environment up here with temperature and vacuum and uh, radiation, so sometimes some of the equipment fails, which has made one time uh, half of the station sort of shut down and another box outside we just fixed during a spacewalk, and now we have all the power back from our solar arrays. Over. Um, primarily on the weekends, and uh, we had the Olympics uh, beamed up here, if you want to say, um, when we had the right KU antenna, and so we were able to watch highlights of the Olympics, and sometimes on weekends we're able to get uh, TV to watch uh, American football or American baseball. Over. Absolutely fun. Uh, being able to fly rather than walk is a blast. You feel like a bird or a fish. But what's annoying is it's easy to lose stuff. You know, if you just drop something, it's not going to fall to the ground. It starts to float away. So it's very easy to lose things, and that gets annoying. Over. Great question. Actually, I'm. We vote by state in the U.S., and I am a, from a Florida resident, so I actually voted before I left, but you can vote from space. People have done that um, who are from the state of Texas. Over. I have a hard time thinking about what's annoying in space. Um, I guess mostly just losing things is the most annoying, and the Maybe secondly is uh, you don't always have communication with home, um, so you can't really text home. You have to wait for email maybe two or three times a day. Over. dogs back at home, of course, and then my family, but the one thing I bring up my, my dogs is because I usually take them for a walk on the beach or in the woods, and um, feeling the ocean air or uh, the, uh, being under the shade of the trees, those things on earth is what I really miss. Over. Uh, sleeping in zero gravity is interesting. It takes a little while to get used to it because that's one of those subconscious things and you feel like you want to have a bed and lay down on something and there's nothing to really lay down on. And so I sort of use my sleeping bag um, half zipped open with my knees on holding my back against the wall so it sort of get that same sensation of sleeping on something over. So free time, you know, one of the most beautiful things about being up here is looking out the window. So a lot of time we spent um, free time looking out the window and taking pictures of our planet and then also trying to take pictures of into space, which is difficult taking nighttime pictures with little stars. Uh, but th that's one of the things we do. Then we also have computers up here, of course, where we can, they upload t some TV shows, some music for us, and people work out, people write journals. So a lot of things, just like on Earth. Over. Thank you.